I remember Aunt Annie was sitting in the front yard and this car pulled up out front. There was two men got out and walked up to her and apparently they told her. And when they did, she passed out. I'll never forget her passing out. And she fell to the ground when they told her about Billy. Yeah. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. I think it's easy to forget how high the stakes were during World War II. The war in Europe and the war in the Pacific, it was black and white. It was the good guys versus the bad guys. To me, being from little old Evansville here, I thought our participation in, in the production of tanks, airplanes, ships, ammunition, we did it all to contribute to the war effort. I don't know if there's any other town in America our size that supplied as much material as we did. The shipyards gets all the glory, if you will, and I think behind the shipyards is Cervell. Republic Aviation. Bullets by the billions being produced at Chrysler. Over three billion 45 caliber rounds were made at Evansville Chrysler. Shane Uniform, they were making military uniforms. Pugh Cyrus Erie and Shane Uniform and Boots and the steel companies. Evansville ended up the first full year of the war going from 18,000 regular industrial plant employees to 84,000 men and women working here. People were coming from all over the United States to work in Evansville. Where are they going to live? Where are they going to sleep? The housing must have been a mess. And there was a rationing for coffee and gas. You couldn't buy new tires. The women's couldn't get their nylons as being used for parachutes. You couldn't buy clothing. You couldn't buy shoes. You wanted a belt, you'd have to make one. One of the advertisements I've got that hangs in my class has the slogan on it. Use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without. And then of course, buy war bonds. <laughs> I didn't feel like it was a sacrifice to me. I just felt like it was what we needed to do for those guys. I knew so many of them over there. It's something you did because you felt you should. It was for our boys. <laughs>